you guys may not deal with this very much. I get emails, phone calls, whatever from people who just, oh man, I've got this insider information. You're going to be blown away. You will not believe the information I've got for you, Pastor Burzins. You're, man, you are going to just want, you, you just, you won't know what to do yourself after you hear this information that I've got for you. And then it's on and on and on about these stars. And, you know, I mean, back a few years ago, was, have you heard of Planet X? Have you heard, you know, this is what's going to happen. It's coming here. And you know what they always do? They set dates. All these people that are looking at the stars and they use their little apps and they say, see, look, now this is what's going to happen here. And this is, you know, and it's going to happen on this date. They turn into date setters. Watch out for the people that are date setters. Seriously. Now, look, I'm not saying that the people that do that are bad people. Because a lot of people that just get really caught up in prophecy, and unfortunately they may end up looking at and reading these days, just YouTubing and, and, see, and just following people that they don't really know anything about, that may or may not even be saved, but because they're so interested in end time stuff, they just, they just eat up all of this stuff and end up walking away with garbage. <laughs> The sign that the Jews needed and wanted and see there's going to be signs because the Jews need to understand that the end times are coming. Well, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, God's not giving them a sign for salvation, which was, again, the context of that passage. But look what the Bible says in Matthew 12, verse 38. The Bible says, Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, this is talking to Jesus Christ, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. So, yeah, they're looking for a sign. But what does Jesus respond to the Pharisees with? An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. That's the sign that you get. It's the, it's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Believe that. There's your sign. That Jesus Christ's soul went to hell for three days and three nights and rose again from the dead. That's the sign I'm going to give you. He's not, give, he's, not, he's not caving in to just giving them some sign because they seek after a sign. He says, you know what? You're evil and wicked for even asking for a sign. Why don't you just have faith? Why don't you just believe? And there's enough prophecy already that he's fulfilled. You don't need the sign to be looking after him.